dear students i mr vishal shah assistant professor krishna institute of pharmacy karad welcome you all to this session on aromatic amines today we are going to discuss about the what is the meaning of aromatic amines and what is the difference between aromatic amines and the aliphatic amines now before starting our today's lecture let's see what are the learning outcomes of this session after this session students will be able to define aromatic amines differentiate between the aromatic amines and the aliphatic amines explain the structure of aniline that is the by considering aniline as an example of aromatic amine we are going to study the structure of the aniline now what is the meaning of aromatic amines aromatic amines are the derivatives of the benzene in which a hydrogen atom of the ring has been replaced by the amino group that is the nh2 now we know amino group is nothing but the nh2 we have studied what is the meaning of phenol in which the hydrogen atom of the benzene is replaced by the hydroxyl group where in aromatic amines hydrogen is replaced by the amino group for example you can see this reaction suppose this is the structure of benzene this is the structure of aniline how aromatic amines are formed by replacing one of the hydrogen atom of the benzene with the help of the this amino functional group that is the nh2 we will get the a structure that is the known as the aromatic amine this is the simple example of aromatic amine that is the aniline so whatever the properties of the aromatic amines are there they are studied by considering aniline as a example or prototype prototype example so just when hydrogen atom is replaced by the benzene we will get the aniline now in case of aliphatic amine we know that aliphatic amines are of three types one is primary amine second one is secondary amine third one is tertiary amine so like aliphatic amines aromatic amines are also classified into the three classes one is primary amine secondary amine and the tertiary amine now this can be easily observed by using this diagram here you can see this is the aniline just we have split this nh2 group like this so this is your primary amine because we know primary amines are the compounds in which there is a presence of the nh2 means both the hydrogen atoms are present that are connected to the nitrogen atom they are known as the primary amine now this is the example of secondary amine that is the n methyl aniline what here we have done one of the hydrogen atom if it is replaced by the alkyl group then it is known as the secondary amine that is the nhr or nh ch3 if this group is present then that particular amine is known as the secondary amine typically secondary amines are classified or they are denoted by ar nh r okay this hydrogen atom can be replaced by the uh, alkyl group or it may be replaced by the aromatic group means here if instead of this ch3 if we write a benzene for example this is also secondary amine so we can replace this hydrogen atom either with the alkyl group or any aromatic group that is known as the secondary amine now we can convert the secondary amines into the tertiary amines by replacing another hydrogen atom that is present to the nitrogen atom so that here we will get an n dimethyl aniline this is the example of the tertiary amine so in case of tertiary amine no hydrogen is present and we can replace both the hydrogen atoms either with the help of the alkyl group or the aryl group sometimes it may happen that one group is alkyl 
and one group may be aryl. So, like aliphatic amines, aromatic amines are classified into the these three classes that is the primary aromatic amine, secondary aromatic amine and the tertiary aromatic amine. Now, what is the then basic difference between the aromatic amines and the aliphatic amines? Now, in case of the aliphatic amines, what happens? The compounds in which amino group is in side chain of the aromatic ring are known as aryl substituted aliphatic amines. For example, here you can see. Now, suppose in case of toluene, if we replace one of the hydrogen atom of this CH3, not this benzene ring, if the hydrogen atom that is present on this CH3 is replaced by the NH2, we will get this structure, this C6H5, CH2 and NH2 because one hydrogen atom is less and instead of that we have added the NH2. This example is known as the benzyl amine. Now here in this structure you can see this NH2 group is not directly linked to the benzene ring and that's why it is known as the aliphatic amine. If this NH2 group is directly linked to the aromatic ring, then that particular structure is known as the aromatic amine. So, that is the basic difference between the aromatic amine and the aliphatic amine. Aromatic amines are consisting of the NH2 group that is directly bonded to the aromatic system, while in case of aliphatic amines, the Whatever NH2 group is present, it is a part of the side chain and it is not directly bonded to the benzene ring. So, this is the basic difference between the aromatic amines and the aliphatic amines. Now, we will study the structure of aniline. Here, we are considering aniline as a prototype example. So, this aniline also explains the structure of the all aromatic amines. For example, similarly, the aniline structure we are going to discuss in three parts. First one is formation of sigma bonds, then formation of pi bonds and last part we are going to discuss about the resonance structure of the aniline. Now we know that aniline is consisting of the six carbon atoms and to these six are carbon atoms which forms the ring, there is a presence of NH2 as a amino functional group. Now, aniline is example of primary aromatic amine. Now, all carbon atoms that are part of the ring, all these carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. While the nitrogen atom that is present outside the ring, that nitrogen atom is having sp3 hybridized condition. And whatever the hydrogen atoms that are present, these hydrogen atoms are having the S hybridized state. Now, here what happens? The sigma bonds are formed by the axial overlapping of the sp2 hybridized p orbitals. For example, here also in case of aniline, there are presence of four types of sigma bond. First type of sigma bond is between carbon and hydrogen. Second type of sigma bond is present between the carbon carbon. Then third type of carb, uh, hydrogen bond that is present is carbon nitrogen. And fourth type of sigma bond that is present is between nitrogen and hydrogen atom. Here the all these sigma bonds are formed by axial overlapping of the these particular orbitals. In case of carbon and hydrogen sp2 hybridized orbital of carbon overlaps with the s orbital of hydrogen which leads into the formation of the ch sigma bond similarly here sp2 hybridized orbital of this carbon atom will overlap axially with the sp2 hybridized orbital of this carbon atom which leads into the formation of carbon carbon sigma bond then this carbon atom and this nitrogen atom which is present in the form of the sp3 hybridized state here also axial overlapping of sp2 and sp3 takes place which leads into the formation of carbon nitrogen sigma bond and here the sp2 hybridized 
nitrogen atom and a hydrogen atom that is having a s orbital also forms a sigma bond so these four different types of sigma bonds are formed in the aniline so in this case also this particular bond angle maintained at the 120 degree celsius as like the benzene then further in case of structure of aniline we are going to discuss how pi bonds are formed as well as the pi molecular orbital that is formed in the benzene here also you can see we know that the six carbon atom that are forming a part of the benzene ring they are having sp2 hybridized state and due to which they are also having one unhybridized p orbital now this unhybridized p orbital is perpendicular to the plane of the sigma bond this is your sigma bond and this is your unhybridized p orbital so you can easily understand that this sigma bond is perpendicular to the plane of this particular unhybridized p orbital and the pi bonds are formed by sidewise overlapping of this unhybridized p orbital each carbon atom is having one sp one unhybridized p orbital and due to which six carbon atoms are having six unhybridized p orbital which leads into the formation of the sidewise overlapping and due to which there is a formation of pi bond takes place in the aniline now as this unhybridized p orbital is having one lobe lying the upper part of the plane of the sigma bond and one lobe is lying at the lower part of the sigma bond so due to which there exists the electron cloud above the plane of the sigma bond as well as the below the plane of the sigma bond which leads into the formation of a ring like structure over the plane of the sigma bond as well as the below the plane of the sigma bond which is known as the pi molecular orbital in the aniline so due to which the electrons are continuously circulating over this particular benzene ring which leads into the formation of the pi molecular orbital also as we know this nitrogen atom is having a lone pair of electron this lone pair of electron is not involved in the formation of the aromatic system so this is also parallel to the this unhybridized p orbital or you can say parallel to the pi bond while it is perpendicular to the sigma bond so this lone pair of electrons further after formation of the pi bonds we will study the how resonating structure that is formed in the aniline now here four contributing structure or four different resonating structures we can write down for the aniline now this is your first structure we know nitrogen atom is having lone pair of electron and when nitrogen atom is directly bonded to the benzene ring it shows electron donating resonance effect and due to which these electrons are easily donated to the this bond this carbon atom due to which this carbon atom breaks the bond with this carbon atom which is a pi bond and due to which these electrons are transferred to the this carbon atom so this carbon atom gets a negative charge now this is electron rich carbon atom to get this stability it donate its electron to this carbon atom so this carbon atom breaks the bond with this carbon atom and the electrons are transferred to the this carbon atom that's why this carbon atom receives a negative charge further again these electrons are shifted to this carbon atom due to which this bond is broken down and this carbon atom gets a negative charge so this negative charge is continuously circulating over the ortho position this para position and again ortho position in this way four different st resonating structure can be drawn to the aniline and that's why the aniline is having the resonance structure which is a stable one so this is about the structure of aniline so today we have discussed about the difference between the aromatic amines aliphatic amines as well as the structure of aniline you have to go to this website 